what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. I'm going to keep it 100, man. You know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, not only is Mikey Garcia one of the best fighters on the planet, pound for pound, period, he's the best Mexican fighter, hands down. He's better than Canelo. And if Oscar would have been smart when he was going through that shit with Bob Arum, Oscar would have tried to scoop up Mikey Garcia immediately. But he let Mikey Garcia pretty much sit on the shelf for two and a half years, almost three years, and didn't do shit. Because, I mean, after all, him and Bob Aaron was supposedly having lunch together and talking on the phone when they was plotting to try to destroy Al Heyman. You know, which, that backfired. Instead of them sitting up plotting to destroy Al Heyman, maybe they could have worked a deal to where Oscar could have got his hands on Mikey Garcia. Because if you want to be completely honest, Mikey Garcia is a lot more marketable than Canelo. One, he speaks Spanish and perfect English. You could do more with him. He's more marketable. And he was more likable until he did that Donkey Kong shit. Now, he apologized. Like I said, he apologized. I gave him a pass. I gave him his one pass. Like I said, if he do it again, if he ever do something like that again, all bets are off. Then he going to be in the same category with Oscar De La Hoya. But like I said, it just goes to show you what a fucking buffoon Oscar De La Hoya is. He missed out on having having his version of Crawford. Mikey Garcia is a special fighter. But like I said, Oscar was too focused on Canelo. Canelo, to me, will never be a super, super global icon. He'll only go so far. But I think he could have did more with Mikey Garcia. But he fucked up. And to a certain degree, I can tell when they ask Mikey Garcia about Oscar De La Hoya, he has a little bit of resentment towards him. He did not look out for his own Mexican brethren. He let that white man, Bob Arum, you know what I'm saying, rob Mikey Garcia of pretty much three years of his career. But luckily, Mikey Garcia is bouncing back. So yeah, real talk. The best Mexican fighter on the planet is named Mikey Garcia. I'm out.